Okay, this is my attempt at solving the Sunday, August 28th, 2022 cryptic crossword. This is a puzzle by Neville Fogarty. Uh, the bio below the puzzle says, Neville Fogarty is a math lecturer at Christopher Newport University. He has been creating crossword puzzles since 2007. Let's, uh, let's jump in. Okay, first clue. Resistance figures mosh violently. If you're just starting cryptic crosswords, you can sometimes just look at one side of the clue um, and actually just get rid of the other in your head. Um, and then ultimately, you want to start looking for words that strike as bizarre. And I feel like violently is a really good example of bizarre. Nothing really is violent in the crossword world. That just doesn't make sense. But mosh, um, you know, that that contextually, mosh kind of feels like it has like a thrashingness to it. So they, they've used the, Neville Fogarty, the constructor, has used this word very deliberately um, to hide an anagram uh, of ohms. which is a uh, unit of measurement uh, of resistance in the um, electricity world. Instrument originally owned by Omar Epps. Instrument, well, a four letter instrument that starts with O is an oboe. Um, And I think that makes sense. This word originally, origin, um, it makes me think that we can take an origin of these four words. And if you think about O and B and O and E, that spells oboe. Okay. Get angry. Vile boor upset. Well, I'm not sure what the word the words are here. It's a four four. So we're going to have a four letter word here and a four letter word there. Um, but upset again, back to this, this um, mosh violently clue. Um, you know, upset is another really great example of an anagram indicator. And vile boor just doesn't really make any sense. Um, it really doesn't. <clears throat> but what we can do, um, we can put the letters in boor and then vile. Um, and see if any words come out of us. Um, get angry, a four letter, four letter phrase for get angry. Um, hmm. And it starts with B in the first word. So a four letter word that starts with B, I see bore, uh, B-O-R-E. Let's switch these letters around. O and the R, the E and the O. Um, I don't... Uh, don't see anything coming out, but I do see evil. Um, okay, I don't think that's 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 working. Um, and MR obviously is not right. I'm returning. Bound text with an error. Well, I'm returning makes me think that it's M-I backwards. And we do have an M here, so I think we can go ahead and switch the R and the I in vile boor. Um, and now we're starting to get a little closer to what this word might be. Um, get angry. Okay, okay, um, this, these letters, boy, I don't think a V would work really here. An R, can, Brie, no, but I think I see boil, and then the E would go here, so this looks like boil over. Okay. Remove, a four letter word for remove is omit, so just before we even go any further, remove from religious tract. Hmm. Okay, well, it's, 
I don't see why omit. No, omit doesn't really feel like the right synonym for remove. But I because I do see oust. Um, and the word from here is really telling because it, it helps us know that the hidden word is going to be from these two. So oust, I think, is guaranteed. And that makes sense with uh, miss, um, you know, an error. I'm, I'm starting to think that this is like a negative prefix, like a misspell or something. Um, bound text, is that... Miss S P E L L Miss Spell Bound Text Spells. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think that's that's right. Okay, <clears throat> prepared a hearty soup. Sorry, not a. Uh, it's just hearty soup, and that looks like ten letters. And we already have the H O U, so that's that's a tip. Um, sometimes you want to look at the letters you already have. Obviously, that's normal crossword guidance. But when it comes to an anagram, um, you can start to see the, the letters are the same. So we probably know that hearty soup is being prepared, anagram. Hearty soup for gathering at one's home. Well, I think we can safely say that a home is probably a house. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like house party which would be a hearty soup preparation. Let's see, that's, that's fun. That's a, that's a good clue. Dirty politician covers up mistake. Okay, well, again, what do we have? We have a Y, and I see a Y right here as the second letter. Ah, I see, okay. Covers up means it's hidden, so typo. Uh, typo is our mistake that's being covered. Rob Thomas initially supports CD bars. Okay. Let's see. Um, this, I, I don't know what this means. And it might be that Rob is a verb. I'm not sure who Rob Thomas is. I'm sorry to Mr. Rob Thomas. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. Um, Thomas initially makes me think that we take the T. We already have a T. Initially supports. Initially, again, I'm thinking, you know, the first letter, similar to this Ohm's clue. Um, a six-letter word for Rob, or a six-letter word for bars. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if it's RT as initials. RT plus BARS, which are CD, implying an anagram. So uh, a combination RT BARS um, for an anagram, I, I think that's a bit of a stretch, to be honest. but. We'll come back to this one. They show the way the wind blows some vessels, it's said. They show the way the wind blows some vessels, it's said. It's said is clearly suggesting that we're using words that sound the same, but are spelled differently. So, a homophone. Formerly out, but now back in hiding in secret room. Formerly out, but now back in hiding in secret room. Well, Hiding is a really nice way to show that the word retro, retro, retro is hiding right there, which is a great word for formerly out, but now back in. 
We have an R here. Let's start with that. Don't bother starting lousy card game. Don't bother starting lousy card game. Interesting. The R here makes me think that anagrams are not necessarily the, the the move here. But lousy makes me think anagram. Don't bother. What is a five letter game? A five letter card game. Ah, uh, that'll come to me. Cincinnati ball player withdraws before competition. The Cincinnati ball team. Is that the Reds? Is that R-E-D withdraws before competition? Uh, my sports are not the best. Withdraws. Withdraws makes me think that it might be Reds backwards, which is S-D-E-R. Um, but competition... Well, if it is red, hmm, withdraws. I can't think of a five letter competition that starts with R E D. <clears throat> Dry sandwiches or stew? Dry sandwiches or stew. That is tricky. That's not coming to me either. We'll come back to that. OMG, storms following the onset of summer haze. Well, okay. Four letters. OMG makes me think that these letters are just in the clue. And it's storm, so it's an anagram. Okay. So we've striking this word is no longer relevant. OMG letters plus the onset of summer. That's the S of summer. Um I think that is smog for a haze. Regularly engages clutch. Regularly engages clutch. That's tough. I see the word ages. Now let's work with the G, and I don't think that makes any sense. Let's come back to that. Looking to catch a large bird. Okay, looking to catch large, and then an eight-letter bird. Large, sometimes you can just reduce to the letter L. Um, so that would mean a seven-letter word, or just seven letters somewhere in this clue. Looking, maybe staring, startling. Okay, regularly engages clutch. Uh, eggs? Eggs? Does that make any sense? 
dads beginning to say no thanks. Okay. A four-letter word for no thanks is pass. And dads is probably pause. Beginning to say is the letter S. Again, that's pretty straightforward. And now this looks like eggs. I don't imagine it's Uggs. Hmm. Okay, well, regularly makes me think that you take the, you take one letter after its next one, if that makes sense. So E, and then G, and then G, and then S. You might see evenly or oddly to give you specifics, um, specific letters on a word if you're starting these out. And I believe clutch is something to do with the brood of a bird, I, and, uh, I think. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that one, but I think it's right. Dry sandwiches or stew. <laughs> okay. Wow. In Italy, our class ditches intro to Latin in favor of intro to marketing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wow, in Italy, our class ditches intro to Latin in favor of intro to marketing. Five and three. We have the three, and that's Mia. And I'm not really sure what this clue is suggesting. I'm sure I could work it out backwards, but I think the answer is just Mama Mia. Um, let's think about this. Intro to Latin. Mamma Mia does mean wow in Italy. That's what that does. That, that, that does mean that. Our class. I mean, I see the MA in marketing. Intro to marketing. Let's see if that... Okay. Okay. This is starting to make a bit more sense to me now. Don't bother starting a lousy card game. Well, lousy... A synonym for lousy is crummy. And if you don't start crummy, you get rummy, which is a card game. They're fruits, according to Richard of Fitness Fame. Oh, okay. Well, Richard Simmons, and the only fruit that I know of with Simmons in it is a per Simmons, and according to is per. Per Simmons. A very literal joke. I like it. Losing face, decline prize. Six letters. Losing face, decline prize. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Hopefully we can get some other ones. Like this one. Hold tip of garden tool. Hold tip of garden tool. Hmm. 
grasp is coming to mind for holding. Um, tip of garden might be G. Is a rasp a tool? I don't know. Decline prize. Um, well, Okay, well, to decline is to atrophy. And if you lose the face of atrophy, which is the A, you get trophy for prize. Okay. Won every game except the first and cried. Cried, four letter words, PT, it has to be wept. Um, won every game except the first. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if um I mean I know it's right, but I'm not sure where the P comes from. Won every game. Except the first. Mm-hmm. Dry sandwiches or stew. <sighs> hmm. S to stew about something is to worry, maybe? But why? Why? I think it is worry, but let's just see if this is a why. Okay, Cincinnati ball player withdraws before competition. Makes me think ready. Ready, set, go. Is that what you say before a competition? Um... I don't think so. I don't know. They show the way the wind blows some vessels, it's said. Well, I think that's clearly an S. Um, the wind blows some vessels. Waves, pains, um, tails. They show the way. They show the way. Rob Thomas initially supports CD bars. So Rob, Rob, six letter word for Rob. Hmm. We're close. I'm not giving up yet. I'm returning a bound text with an error. Bound text might be... <sighs> a spine? No, bound text. It does look like misspell. Hmm. 
I'm returning bound text with an error. Eight letter word for error, mistaken, mistake, or stakes bound, mistakes. No, that doesn't make sense. This spell looks better withdraws before competition. Cincinnati, what is the team name? Is it Reds? I mean, withdraws makes me think it's backwards. Okay, well now this looks like Derby. Oops, Derby. Miss. Misprint? Is that it, misprint? Okay, now this does look like worry. Initially supports CD bars. Okay. I think this might be divest. Um, to divest someone of something. And then veins, they show the way the wind blows, some vessels, blood vessels, veins. I like that, divest. Hey, all right, 26 minutes, 42 seconds. Great puzzle. Um, yeah, I really like this one, a lot of fun. Um, some of my favorite clues, let's see. This, this one is crazy, I'm gonna have to look at this. Oh, I see. Um, M for L in Mammalia. Okay. <laughs> Our class, so mammals, ditches intro to Latin, the L, in favor of intro to marketing for M. So Mamma Mia. That's fun. I like that. I also really like this uh, this persimmons. They're fruits, according to Richard of Fitness fame. Persimmons. This one I think I got lucky on, looking to catch a large bird. Um, I already had some words, some letters, sorry, in there. Eggs definitely uh, gave me a bit of a head scratch. But um, all in all, doable. Um, definitely doable. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate uh, you tuning in. And until next time.